Well, hello, Taurus. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the spiritual advice reading covering October 1st through the 15th of 2022. So, for this reading, I've been guided to this uh, spirit animal oracle deck by Colette Baron Reed, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Taurus I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Taurus with clearly defined messages regarding the first half of October of 2022. All right. So the first card we have is the Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. With number 41, we have a Taurus that is thinking about their foundation. That is taking authority over some form of new beginning. Who is feeling the energy of courage and willpower and leadership. Now in the thoughts position at the beginning of October, we have take the lead. Spirit is talking to the person who is feeling pretty darn good about their foundation. There could be some form of offers or opportunities that you are researching. And uh, Spirit is guiding you, Taurus, to take the lead. Be the leader of a project, an idea. Or you're going to feel like taking the lead in a relationship because it feels as though it is right. So in the relationship sector, we do have the Wasp Spirit Energy. Oh my, sometimes life stings. So like the collective Taurus, um, it is during the first half of October where things are good in your world, uh, even though there is something that you may still be reflecting on or that could be a bit painful in relation to another or others. So in the creative aspects position, Spirit is trying to tell this Taurus uh, with the turtle spirit energy. Slow and steady wins the race. Maybe there has been some form of painful situation and spirit saying take the lead with a kind and open heart and trust that what you want to create here could evolve, uh, but it's going to be something that requires a lot of patience. Now in the creative, I'm sorry, actions position, we have this beautiful number one, right? Coming into an awareness of a new beginning, um, coming into an awareness with the ant spirit energy that it is time indeed to collaborate with friends, with a significant other, uh, with a group of people regarding an idea or project. Now, emotionally, in the first half of October, we have the sandpiper spirit. So again, spirits calling us back to that energy of playfulness. Even though things have been a little bit uh, painful in the area of relationship, slowly and steadily as you collaborate with like-minded people and take the lead, your playful, open-hearted energy will return. You will overcome obstacles and challenges uh, via some form of wisdom and knowledge. In the subconscious position, we have the spider spirit energy. So the advice here is to continue to make your own personal dreams come true. Even though things are sometimes painful in the area of relationships, love is all around you, right? Nature is love. Family and friends are love. So spirit saying, be in the here and now. Try not to worry about what happens next, but trust that what you are creating for yourself as you take a playful lead over your journey, trust that eventually as you take action to collaborate with others, slowly but surely, you will make your dreams come true. So if something hasn't worked out, it's because it wasn't meant to. It was because you were supposed to push beyond that into the direction of the path that is meant to be, that is in your highest, best good. So in the inner strengths position, we have the badger spirit energy. So spirit saying, we're giving you the strength to remain fearless and bold. As you collaborate with like-minded people, you will start to recognize uh, a lot of support. 
Uh, even I'm hearing respect. So in a three card summary with the same spirit animal oracle deck, we've got the snake spirit, the rabbit spirit, and the moth spirit. So spirit is saying at the beginning of October for this Taurus, now is a time to heal. For with the porcupine spirit energy, it is time for a new beginning, a beautiful foundation, rising above difficulties, painful connections or situations, to go through a very spiritual transformation, right? No longer am I a caterpillar crawling on the ground getting walked on, but I am flying free into the direction of the dove spirit energy where there is peace and there is playfulness. Somebody here is uh, reclaiming their power. And this card is starting to show up uh, quite a bit lately. Reclaiming one's power by creating not only a foundation that is stable and secure in the area of home and business, but also that is balanced in the area of emotions and spirituality. So Spirit's saying it's a very, very lucky time when the rabbit shows up. And with the horse spirit, this is about freedom. Spirit has led you from a painful situation into the direction of freedom. And so as you let your light shine in collaboration with others, uh, it will be important with the armadillo spirit energy to maintain some healthy boundaries. Spirit's helping you to believe in yourself at this time. And they're asking you, Taurus, to just surrender to the process. So it is time to surrender and wait a little bit here because clarity is coming and when the right opportunity comes that is blessed with the number 30 spirit you will recognize has helped you to manifest this and to tell you with the grasshopper energy it is time to take a leap of faith spirit's got your back turn your knowledge into wisdom for knowledge is power bring your ideas to life trust in the magic of collaborating with like-minded people something here is going to make you Tauruses feel more fearless and bold but also very playful emotionally so I'm going to confirm and clarify with the gypsy oracle deck I like to confirm and clarify with this deck because it sometimes helps me to pinpoint certain people places circumstances situations and or environments by which spirit is helping for me to translate for you, Taurus, in the first half of October of 2022. Yeah, so there is falseness. I feel like somebody already knows what this falseness is about in the relationship sector, something that may have been very uh, painful. But spirit, again, is saying love is all around us. Spirit is always trying to send in energy of love through family and friends. So in the thoughts position, we have take the lead. If you are feeling a little bit discontent and bored with the melancholy energy. And trust that as you journey into new directions, so too will you leave that wasp. That which has been painful, you can journey away from slowly and steadily with the turtle spirit energy. So be in the here and now. Focus on your foundation, what it is that you are creating for the long term that is going to bring back playfulness to your life. For spirit is offering up the surprise card. Another very popular card, mostly in the thoughts position, but now for you, Taurus, in the creative aspects position. So there is going to come some form of surprise here as slowly but surely you win the race of creativity for yourself. Again, be in the here and now and don't let yourself, if you can, which Spirit's helping you to do, fall back into the direction of falseness because someone's going to be drawn to your light here. Now, in the actions position, we have a brand new path with the number one new beginnings and the ant spirit energy. It is time indeed to collaborate. So some form of message is coming towards you. Maybe you'll be communicating in the actions position with another so that you can collaborate when it comes to what you're creating for yourself. There is playful energy uh, that comes from like minded people. So as the Tauruses focus on getting beyond certain obstacles and challenges, 
as they move into the direction or you move into the direction of a new beginning. There will be a connection with this Lord energy. Now, this could be father figure, grandfather figure, uncle, brother, ex-spouse, spouse, whatever. This could be someone who's in a leadership position. But what this means is, is that it, Spirit's giving the Taurus the strength to remain playful and to communicate while observing uh, whether or not they can trust someone here. If there has been falseness, again, Spirit is saying, slow and steady wins the race. If you will create and collaborate with like-minded people, new chapters can open up that will lead you away from certain obstacles and challenges. So it is time indeed with the uh, spider spirit energy to focus, focus on making your dreams real. So write down, what is it? I, what are my dreams at this time? Because I know that as I go into the direction of like-minded people, learning something, teaching something, creating something, so too will I free my mind from this overthinking. Someone may be overthinking a connection uh, with this Lord energy um, and eventually come into collaboration or communication with someone that makes you feel bold. Okay, so what they're talking about is there is a Taurus here where that playful energy is returning because of some form of collaborative uh, conversation. And it brings back uh, great inner strength here. Again, it's like you're going into the direction of playfulness and leadership here. And again, someone's going to be drawn to you. So some of you, you may be tested by someone who's coming back with the same false energies of the past, but it's okay to remain playful, right? Love is about patience and kindness and lust is something completely different. So be in the here and now, not back to what was painful or someone who was or is false because spirit's trying to bring that lover energy around to you, Taurus. Be passionate about what you are creating for yourself and trust that new surprises will come. For some of you, you're bored and you're discontent and you're focused on the negative here in the relationship sector. But as you let that go and make your own personal wishes come true, you're going to give off this very bold, fearless and playful energy that is going to draw someone new. So there's some right now. There's passion, but I don't know where it is headed or if they can be trusted. But again, overthinking a situation will only make it worse. So in the inner strengths position with the badger spirit, we have be fearless and bold. For eventually, spirit's given you the strength to overstep the falseness in another or others and to trust that a new communication of and collaboration here is going to lead you back into the energies of cheerfulness. So traveling beyond stubbornness, frustration, discontent, and boredom. Finding that you're very surprised at some form of passionate situation. But there is a fear here about trusting some form of communication. Okay, so I think what I need to do is confirm and close with a tarot deck. So for confirmation and clarification, I'm being guided to the, oh, what is this? Osha Zen Tarot Deck. I like to use tarot decks for confirmation because it helps me sometimes to pinpoint certain astrological signs and or elements of who by which spirit is helping for me to translate for you, Taurus, in the first half of October of 2022. So we have... Two cards that jumped out. Spirit's giving the Taurus the strength to overcome the Three of Swords, which is heartache. So there may have been falseness, but there is a time of rebirth now. With the Ten of Swords, a long and difficult path has ended, and now it's time to connect and to collaborate with those whose hearts are open. In the Thoughts position, we have possibilities with the Two of Wands. So we do have some that are looking at one financial creative direction or another. And Spirit's saying, take the lead. You're going to start to feel the energy of this uh, eagle here where you can fly over the mountains and get into the direction of what it is that fulfills you so that you can come out of this energy of melancho melancholy. I have got a uh, woodpecker banging on the outside of the house. So if you hear that, my apologies. Wow. 
Okay, so we have in the relationship sector journeying, someone journeying towards you, you thinking about journeying towards another. Maybe there was a connection, but in the relationship sector with the wasp spirit energy, we do have sometimes life stings. So it is time, Taurus, to let your light shine. With the sun energies of innocence, it's okay to journey into the direction of others and just share your gifts, your talents, your skills, your playfulness. Because in the creative aspects position, there will come a surprise that you have won some form of race. You have overcome isolation and pain. So Spirit's giving the collective Tauruses the strength to look at things from every perspective, trusting that slow and steady wins the race. A surprise will come in a new direction and when it comes to what you're passionate about or the lover's energy of maybe Gemini. Uh, in other cases, uh, what you're passionate about is going to develop for you if you can allow this rebirth and free yourself from old possibilities uh, that only involved energies of falseness. So we have another very common card here, which is the judgment card. So it's time to collaborate, communicate, and observe that communication with a clear mind and spirits helping with the judgment energies as a major arcana for you to make the highest, best decision for yourself. So enjoy cheerful conversations and trust that spirits giving you the strength in the inner strengths position to move forward in a very fearless and bold way communicating your truth okay so we do have heartache next to the king of swords maybe some tauruses are uh have gone through difficulty in relation to an older air sign libra aquarius or gemini we have the lord energy again father figure grandfather figure but this is about playfulness okay the sadness of the past needs to you need to use that to become more fearless and bold, okay? To not overthink what was, but to make your dreams come true. So that overthinking spirit saying with the Seven of Swords is definitely self-sabotage. It's time to make your dreams come true and to let go of pain of the past. Love is all around you. There will always be enough. So free yourself from the Nine of Swords in a day-to-day -day position not being able to sleep at night only focused on the heartache of a situation let your light shine and wait because communication will come from someone that's going to want to collaborate with you that's going to bring back that passionate joy and playfulness in the inner strengths position we have the two of cups so cheerfulness and the realization of a soul connection. Sometimes this particular two of cups is about putting someone in the friend zone and kind of untangling from the family roots, right? Going through a rebirth and freeing yourself from heartache, the heartache caused by falseness. So yeah, it's time to let go of the sorrow and the pain and the heartache. Spirit is lifting you out of that into the direction of the creating something you are passionate about as you exist in the here and now. Exciting and positive communication is going to come and it will then be time to collaborate with those who uh, bring you cheerfulness. So the cheerful new connections are bringing you not only out of energies of self-sabotage, but a, uh, into the direction where you can shine, where new people will be drawn to you. Fair decisions. So the spiritual advice from the guardian angel deck with the number eight, representing the fact that knowledge is power. This card says, Taurus, your angels are aware that you have some concerns, but be assured that there is nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the, the situation and that all is being healed. Take time to review the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. So letting go of the heartache, letting go of the pain in a relationship sector, letting your sh light shine and now going into the direction of this. So right behind the fair decisions card, we have the ace of action, which has been a common card as well. So the ace of wands 
is about new opportunities related to creativity, career, or the pursuing of your dreams. Remember the spider spirit in the subconscious position. Now is the time to make your dreams real. Spirit is guiding the Tauruses beyond obstacles and challenges into a path of harmony and victory. So this is a card of action. It's a time to go into the direction of who or what you are passionate about. I'm feeling what you are passionate about or the pursuing of your dreams. Uh, this, uh, for some of you, is something you've been procrastinating because of something that has been said. But the Ten of Swords is the representation to you that a long and difficult path has ended. It is definitely time to create or start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. See, on the bottom of the deck, we have creativity. Spirit's helping you to give birth to some form of creativity that will heal you from energies of sorrow if you will be in the here and now and collaborate with those who bring you cheerfulness because they're coming in as soon as you let go of some form of heartache or self-sabotage. Let your light shine and make your dreams come true. Should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am uh, now offering the fall special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, and please click on subscribe. Thank you to those of you who have attended the live Zoomcast on Wednesdays and or the live YouTube podcasts on Thursdays. Thank you so very much for those donations as well. Take care and God bless.